Hello and welcome to Do It Yourself Video Production and Do It Yourself Pain Relief, TreatYourselfNaturally.com. Hi, I am Jenny Sprung, Integrative Neurosomatic Therapist, Certified Zero Balancer. Um, the rest of my credentials are on my website, TreatYourselfNaturally.com. And welcome everybody. Today we're going to have approximately 8, maybe 12 minutes um, to uh, work on shoulder pain. Uh, so many times uh, my patients come in injured from all of the things we do in life. Uh, they can't move their shoulder at all. It's um, the range of motion is decreased. There's a lot of pain. Even a simple uh, action of pouring, uh, you know, uh, hot water for coffee is painful. And um, uh, treatment is wonderful. Find yourself in an excellent um, healing team, but you can also amplify that by treating yourself naturally at home. So I'll show you what you need. And first off, if you would, just find a racquetball, a soft racquetball. So right here like this, a dryer ball will work. Some of these little rollers you might have at home. Tennis ball. Any little massage tool that you may have, anything at all, or even a stone that looks like a finger. Uh, many of these items are resources on my website. They're listed as links on my website, so check that out. These T-bars, there's a beveled edge. These are great. All of these are inexpensive tools, and most you can find around your house. Uh, we will review these. Um, after we go through the large foam roller. I'd like you to find one of these wherever it is in your closet. You've probably got one hanging out somewhere that you used for another injury that's been put away. Bring it out because it's, it's um, uh, I found it to be a superior way to release the shoulder blade and the attachments into the arm and into the neck and all around the shoulder front and back. Uh, there is an article that's associated with this on my website that has a little more anatomy, not too much, but I just want to make sure that you um, can uh, treat your shoulder and relieve some of those trigger points. The shoulder trigger points can be ferocious. I mean, they really, really can. So put your roller perpendicular to your mat. Make sure you get some water. Take a nice deep breath and come down onto the mat. Supporting your head, making sure that your posture is correct, you've got good abdominal hold, you're not slouching, and the head is well supported. Going to place the foam roller right underneath the armpit. So it's going to go right here on these muscles, all along the side of the body. You come in. The knees are bent, the hips are stacked, and you're just going to roll across the shoulder. Don't go in too deeply. Uh, it's more about stretching the fascia, releasing trigger points gently. I found that folks overuse the foam roller. They just go for it and they create more pain. So the shoulder infraspinatus, supraspinatus, subscapularis, teres major minor, have a lot of trigger points and they come back because we use our shoulders. So you can get treatment for your shoulder to help with pain, but then you go and you do things. You drive, you use a computer, handheld items, um, even just working in the kitchen, working in the garden, there's always pulling and pushing, particularly pulling. So here is a little bit more, and I'll bring up my top arm so you can see right where I am. When you find a trigger point that's pretty intense, see if you can roll into it a little more and relax. You want to wait about 8 to 12 seconds, 2 or 3 big breaths, and then come out of it. Don't overdo it. This is shoulder. Do it yourself pain relief, treat yourself naturally.com number one. You can always contact me on my contact page and I can talk to you about further 
advances that you can work on here. So now, this is straight side, and you're not going to come too far down into the ribs. It's about a four or five, depending upon your anatomy, four or five inch area from just below the blade and see if you can feel where the blade is to right up into the posterior deltoid. Okay, so again, positioning the arm. You can get a lot of um, trigger points by simply opening the arm of the shoulder you're working and rolling back and forth. Go up on the inch, roll back, and there, the infraspinatus. You can move the arm around a little bit, see if you can find some additional trigger points, and then relax into it, holding the head, supporting the neck, and breathing. I injured my shoulder putting a patio in. Wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow, I iced my arm and kept on wheelbarrowing, and then I could not move my arm. And uh, it was about a year, but I can do everything with my arm again, and this is what I did in between. It was a pretty severe injury, but um, I discovered that the foam roller, if used proper, properly and appropriately, it really helps. So then you can face down a little bit and move the breast tissue out of the way. You can get um, a little bit more into... Um, Peck major, tiny bit of minor, you're just placing a little bit of compression in there, working that, and then you can come back. And you're going to use that top leg to bridge up a little bit so that you can breathe into those trigger points on the blade. The blade is tricky, it moves around, it's supposed to. So you're going to want to think about other options of how you can get in there. And then take a break because that's a lot for the shoulder, that's a lot for the arms. While you're taking a break, you go over to the other shoulder. Before you do that, just go ahead and support the head, bend the knees up, glutes or bottoms on the floor, and you can uh, simply go between the blades in little tiny rolls. And then a little tiny angle over to that same side we just worked. So you can get between the blade and the ribs and the spine. <sighs> Folks will always come in and say, right between my shoulder blades, right between my shoulder blades, killing me. This is excellent. When you go all the way up to the top of the blades, and now I'm on both blades, the head should be straight up looking at the ceiling. Knees are bent. And if you can't bridge up, just relax there. The head is always supported. The neck is relaxed. There's no straining. This doesn't help anything. Relax. And then you can go. This is in another video, but this is the thoracic spine. And while you're moving in between the shoulders, this is advantageous and helpful and very therapeutic. So now come down, and let's go to the other shoulder. So once again, perpendicular foam roller. It's a great foam roller. The resource for this is on my website. I love this. Um, it's great for many larger muscles, larger body parts. But I have some other foam rollers, and please take a look at my other videos. There's some great resources for smaller parts of the body. Forearm, lower leg, hands and feet, head, neck, and shoulders. Here we are at the shoulder. So placement again, you can see it's right up underneath the back of my shoulder, my posterior deltoid. It's all in the, the blade, the lateral border of the blade. So again, right in here. You can almost grab that part of the body and that's where you want it, right in here. So don't go down too far on the ribs and there'll be more work, more video videos presented for the upper arm. But for now, relax the head, relax the body and do a little cross fiber and you'll feel that this can really be intense. 
Going all the way down the tricep, posterior deltoid down to the elbow. How far you go, you can go all the way to the chest. Move the breast tissue and go into the chest, see how I'm facing down. But uh, you don't want to stay here too long. You're in the armpit and just come back out. Remember, 8 to 12 seconds, 2 or 3 big breaths. Another one of my articles talks about relaxation. And the inhale should be four counts, the exhale twice as much, eight counts, or two and four, respectively. So here we are. Now I'm going to show you the bridge up from the posterior. And so this is a straight on side. And I'm just using that top leg, supporting my head. You can keep the elbow down, or you can bring it up. And remember, I was facing the floor before. Now I'm going to face up a little bit and get right up at the top. And then down just at the very bottom of the shoulder blade. Again, go to the article associated with this for photos that will show you exactly where we are, or you can contact me if you have questions. Here on the blade, the infraspinatus, it can be really full of trigger points. Some incredible ones, and you'll feel it up in the neck, in the jaw, and we have neck and jaw videos for you to treat yourself for um, pain relief. Natural pain relief, increased range of motion, decreased distortions in the body, increased better posture, improved posture, improved gait, and so forth. So now I'm going to come off, take a breather, come back again, and just bridge up a little more, and we will get adjustments through the vertebrae of the spine and the ribs. Don't ever, ever, ever go down onto your low floating ribs. And in every one of these videos, you are empowered to make the decisions about what worked for you. It's about thinking, being conscious, leaning into your innate wisdom about what works and what doesn't. Even if one minute of this video works for your shoulder, so be it. All right, so now I'm going to come up. That was great. I'm going to move the foam roller on the side, and I'm going to use some of the tools. So we'll start with the softball, because that's what I really want you to start with. Um, you know, if you only have a hard ball, then use it in, on a soft surface, on a very soft rug or on your mattress or something like that. But let's use the racquetball or the dryer balls. I know you all have a dryer ball. So the dryer ball might be easier to see, maybe not. You're going to place that right under the shoulder blade. Hand can be up to support the head. And then you're just going to move your arm in a series of range of motions to see what feels good and what doesn't. And so to me, the dryer ball doesn't feel that good. I'm not liking it. If I don't like it, I'm not going to use it. It's a little too pointy for my shoulder blade. However, it might be really good in my glutes. Here's the rack ball. I'm going to put that right on my blade, and yeah, see, that works for me. I can roll around on the rack ball, and some of you have those pinky balls. That resource is also on my website. You can do a little rotation. Nice big breaths. You might get a few adjustments in the shoulder. Self-adjustment is, is therapeutic. You can affect change in your body. So again, rolling around on the blade. So just a little bit of rolls, not too much. Uh, this can create pain if you do too much. Ah, notice how I move my arm up and down. I keep the elbow bent. If you want to try a little bit different, you can open up to a long lever. Whoa. If you find a spot, relax into it. Breathe through it. Breathe right through that area, not right to it. Breathe through it. 
and release. Let me show you where this is on, on me. And that there's my blade. It's all around here. You can take this and work this in the thoracic spine between the blade and the spine. And I mean, that is just so good. I recommend doing this after many hours on the computer. <sighs> Lifting, working, pulling, gardening, any of this, you can just have, have a bunch of a basket of balls around your house and use them. Okay, so this is right between the shoulder blade and the spine. And some of you may say, well, what if I go into my spine? Well, if you have a soft ball, it's not going to uh, uh, hurt you, but you'll feel where it, it's not going to be quite in the softer tissue. And I don't need you to put too much pressure on your vertebra. If you find a vertebra that it feels good to work on, go ahead. And that would be excellent on the rhomboids and all a part of the shoulder. So um, the ball all around in between the shoulder blade and the spine. Ha, huh. okay, so the other place that folks will tell me where they feel a lot of shoulder pain, and they'll come in and say, I feel it right here. This is a, 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 a referral point. Uh, there may be an injury there, but this is a common referral point for a lot of injury through the back body. So you can use a beveled edge tool, and, and the resource for these are on my website. You can use one of these TheraBand rollers and, and just release the fascia. Just uh, relax the arm and push this against and warm up the tissue. Get it warm, get the blood flowing the oxygen flowing and hence the breathing. And if you're not going to breathe, then you're not facilitating what you're asking the body to do. So you can warm that up. You can also get a ball and roll it right into the deltoid. And I mean, that feels real good. You can also do it on the floor to make sure your body position is safe and you're not hurting something else to relieve a painful issue in the shoulder. I like the stone, and I think a lot of you probably have some stones at home. You can warm them if you'd like, and there's an article about that. But I like to take this stone right here, it's like a finger, a big finger. One of the male therapists that I know has fingers like this. And uh, you can just go right underneath the deltoid. And that feels really good, and what you'll do is you'll I don't want you to press too hard. To roll across the fascia, gather it. Uh, just uh, see if you can find that. See, there's a spot. Whew. You can move the fingers. Rotate, supinate, and pronate the forearm. And uh, notice the change there. Move the arm around a little bit. And so you can go all the way up in the rotator cuff up into the glenohumeral joint and the chromioclavicular joint right in here. This is great. Um, you know, some people say, well, I don't have a stone. I don't have... Well, find one. There's one right outside your door. Find one that looks like a little finger. And it's helpful because you don't, you don't have to use your fingers or your palm or all these muscles. You can just hold it and move it and you can go into the pecs, pectoralis major, and all around the shoulder. When I hold this here, I feel it right underneath my armpit. <sighs> Thank you so much. That was shoulder number one. Please uh, contact me if you have any questions and I hope you enjoy the website. Now, do-it-yourself video production is to turn the video off. Thank you.